Yeah. You know what? Let's switch, let's switch it up. Switch it up. Yeah. 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 Welcome back, baby. Yeah. Already, boy. This is just on the. Okay, okay, okay. You get lit. You get lit. Okay. Unsolicited by me. It's like, okay. Well, if I'm crazy and it's up, then it's up. Then it's up. Then it's up. So, so, so. God damn, God damn. It, it came as God damn. It came. So we can't meet. We can't have a conversation. Y'all stupid motherfuckers. What the fuck is wrong with you? Yo, this is Jay. We on Drink Champs on Revolt TV. Did we take a shot? I don't know. Yeah, let's sure. take a shot. <laughs> salud, salud, salud. Yeah. God damn, God damn, yeah. he came as God damn. Holy God. Let's bring Larry Hoover in. Let's bring, let's bring him in. Let's bring the y'all in. You look just like your pops, too, by the way. Yeah. Jeez Louise, Papa Jeez. One of my favorite records on Donda album is Jesus. And you at the end of the record, you, you talk on behalf of your father. So for people who uh, don't understand the situation, uh, can you describe? All right, basically on the album, I was speaking on how my father has been um, incarcerated my whole life. Uh -huh. You know, I've been going to see my father from the Illinois state prison system mm -hmm. to the federal prison system mm -hmm. where he's in Colorado. And, and, um, and for, oh, sorry to cut you off, but he's in one of the most, that's like max, max, max. Yeah, like, he's in the he ADX. Can't, he can't even, like, there's not even other inmates he can, he can associate and with. And when you say your whole life, how old are you right now? I'm 47. So okay. that's, that's cool. a long that's, time. That's deep. Yeah, their conversations are through the toilet for really? the most part. They got wow. a little bit of a way to conversate with each other, but it's, wow. it's not much. Wow. So I was just, on the album, I was letting people know that, um, He's been away for, you know, my whole life. My kids are grown. Mm -hmm. You know, my daughter has never touched her grandfather. Wow. She's 22. Mm -hmm. My son never touched his grandfather. Right. He's 14. Actually, since COVID is going on, my son probably grew maybe two or three. I mean, not two or three, but he, he grew some inches. Right. And he's taller than my father now. My father is, like, shorter than me, but he wow. hasn't been able to see him. Wow. So... You know, but I was, it's all because of Kanye, and you see how he's open and not scared to address situations. Right. Also, coming from Chicago, to bring up the fact that, um, give me the platform to speak on my father and keep putting the information out there with the narrative that needs to be put out there. As you may have heard of Larry Hoover as right. leader of the Gangster Disciples. Right. Mm -hmm. You never heard of Larry Hoover as the leader in the community mm -hmm. that was an, organiza an organizer right. that brought people together. Right. You know what I mean? I'm sorry to stop you, but um, this is this this series that's on HBO. Okay. And it's called The Shot. You know what? Um, I haven't seen much of it. I don't know if they tried to take it off of that or not. That's what happened was it was like about three seasons ago, and it was a guy that was in the jail. Okay. And. 100% on Twitter, you know, uh, I, I love black Twitter. This shit okay. is, is amazing, right? Um, but on Twitter, they said that that was the depiction of Larry Hoover. Okay, I didn't see it, but I okay. know at a point in time, he did right. call a lot of shots from... No, but from jail. This from is jail, yeah. Okay. He, he moved okay. good in jail at one point in time. Okay. The jail system has changed, but okay. back in the day, the inmates kind of had control of the jail. So let me ask you both for something, right? I used to go to Chicago. I used to, uh, my favorite restaurant was Sammy's. Okay. In Caprini Green. In Caprini Green. I was Green. an idiot for going there. I was definitely out of line. I, was, I did not belong. I used to land a platinum artist and go to Sammy's. It's this, good people with Caprini Green. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. so. Well, you had your Boricua family over there. I have, I, I, I got both. I got black family yeah. and I got, um, but the thing was, I felt like when Caprini Green was standing, when Chicago had these OGs, Chicago was, I don't want to say controlled, but it was then your father, or oh, so many people is away. Now it's like everyone is killing. Like I felt like we needed the OGs. Am I, am I, am I, and I'm an outsider looking in. Well, what they called it was um, cutting the head off the snake. 
Mm. If, you, if you get rid of the head, then the mm. body, the body will crumble. Mm. So, to the certain aspect that you're trying to say, I mean, mm. it's true. When it was some type of organization, mm -hmm. and cats had some type type of honor and respect mm. to follow, mm -hmm. and the person that was giving them the the codes to follow, right. you know, didn't honor the things that's going on now. Mm. It it was different. It was safe, you know. Mm. People were brought together in the city to, to right. keep the violence down, to stop the right. the attacks on innocent people and old right. ladies and women. You know right. what I mean? It's that's the type of stuff they don't like to talk about. So yeah, it was definitely different, and it wasn't just Cabrini Greens. All right. up and down State Street was projects, and right. you know who was in the projects? We was in the projects. Right, exactly. Yeah. So so yeah, let me ask you, yeah. This record came out with um, Rick Ross, and he says Larry Hoover. What was your thoughts on that? Because you you from the shot. So when you heard this record, did you take it as disrespect or did you how did you take it? Yeah, I took it as respect. What did you what's your yeah. feelings on? Well, you know, I like the fact that he kept the name alive and put him into the limelight, but I <coughs> always had a problem that he said his name and then was said whipping work. You know what I mean? And he's fighting for his life. Mm. So I wouldn't want him to speak on him. Mm about whipping work and him and drugs. His federal case that he's dealing with right now is a drug case. Oh, damn. You know what I mean? Yeah. He has five or six life sentences. I don't know the exact number, but it doesn't matter because both of them is horrible. Right. But under the First Step Act, he deserves to come home off of the... He deserves to come home, and he qualifies to come home. Right. But See, it's the judge's discretion. For whatever reason, he don't feel like he should be able to come home at this point. But he qualifies to come home under the First Step Act. So, yeah, did you have a, because we see you had a relationship with Trump. Did you ever have a relationship with, um, uh, speak about Trump with the Larry Hoover situation? Yeah, when I went to the White House, I spoke on that. It was like a, a very brief period of time. And then it was a, um, a lawyer that Hoover had that um, I didn't like this lawyer. I felt like he was befriending him, but not really pushing forward the, pushing forward the situation. Mm -hmm. So we found a new lawyer right now we're putting together a new team mm. for him and I, I feel like it's much like in the in the footsteps of my father-in-law Robert Kardashian Robert Kardashian okay OJ the nigga that fit yeah. OJ yeah before yeah. we first black victory before we had Oprah and Obama we had OJ I first black, I respect <laughs> that okay go ahead no <laughs> when, I, when, I, when I was looking at the screen as a child it would show they showed a white bar and they showed a black bar and a white bar looked down like this and a black bar erupted. Not for the idea of whether he did it or not, but for the idea that for all the people that's wrongfully locked up. Right. Talking about OJ ain't do it, man. Yeah, what about? that's what I'm saying. That, so that he, okay. that he actually got off. And the fact that Robert Kardashian found Johnny Cochran and put together that team and they won. And Right now, there's a team that could be put together. So, sorry to stop you, but it seems like something that is you and your wife, because you, you kept calling her your wife, so I'm going to call her your wife, yeah. is passionate about. It's like, y'all not only, you, you're fighting for the right reasons. Mm -hmm. Like, meaning, like, you guys became billionaires, and you guys could have said, fuck everyone. But you guys are becoming billionaires, and then turning around and saying, let me help. Let me do something where I'm needed at. This is amazing. Like, we've never seen this. I've never seen us, uh, any other billionaire. Like, no, no, Jay. Jay is okay, super. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I forgot about so that. Reform. Reform, too, yes. with, with Meek yeah. Mill and them. They yeah. are trying to do the Jay Z, same. Meek mm -hmm. Mill, like, there's a lot of us fighting in all kind of different ways. It's like mm -hmm. that 13th Amendment need to completely be eradicated. Which but the is? thing is, it's a, it's a, it's a specific amendment for slavery for black people mm. that's in the current constitution when we shut up and dribble and, and we rap and we do all this this thing is still in the constitution as famous as black people and as powerful as we are and as influential as we are this there still are pieces of our 2021 constitution that are only aimed towards the lost Hebrew race mm. known the lost Hebrew people mm. pardon me known as black mm. And that is still modern day, um, modern day slavery. So I'm, you got to give collectively. That's that's the whole point. That's the reason why it's talks of me and Drake doing a concert 
uh, to uh, to bring life to Hoover mm. together. And that's that's what, I see that's you dope. with Jay Prince and. And Jay Prince obviously is affiliated. I see the rap a lot chain. Like Jay Prince spoke about it here, I believe, yeah. if I'm not wrong. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you know, so for a bigger call, for period, I love Drake anyway. You know what I'm saying? Right. It's just, I was just, basically, I was just telling you like little back and forth basketball right. type of right. professional rap stuff we was dealing with. Right. But on a bigger, and also I say, you know, those of us that know how to organize are brought to their demise. Mm. Because they do not want us to be organized. They want us to be modern-day slaves. Mm. Mm. Deep shit, man. Mm. Deep shit. Deep shit. So where is it at? Um, hiring a new lawyer. All right, let me uh, speak on one thing with the um, lawyer thing, cause okay. yay is yay. <laughs> <laughs> we expanded the lawyer team. Okay. You know what I mean? Okay. He didn't see eye to eye with the attorney, but he, okay. he took us to a point. But we 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 added on and making the team stronger. Right. And um, you asked me what we at, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And so he was denied without prejudice. So what? What? Did, say that again. I, I, I he was know. denied without Which prejudice. Like flat out denial. Like no, 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 no. So there's a lot of other people that's on this case that was released right. from the right. first step back. It was nine, say nine people on this case, and maybe six of them are released now, right? right. Wow. They denied, and it's the same thing, right. pretty much the same paperwork. And and, and and Kamala created the first step back, right? Kamala created. You don't like Kamala at all. And we are. <laughs> <laughs> You've been going out. No, 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 no. Who created the first? Who, I who think Biden. It? No, it was Biden. I think, um, or, or Clinton. No, or Clinton. no, no. Uh, Trump. I don't did think none of us know what the hell we talking about. I don't know it, what the hell we talking about. I'm just riding with y'all. It came yeah. out. The it first, came out doing the first step back is to get people <laughs> out, think, right? Yeah, I think right. the first step it, the first it started step before act, Trump, but it came out. Trump pushed it through, and that's Trump when it came out. Trump pushed through the First Step Act, niggas. What does that mean? What it means is stop, stop dick riding, uh, fucking Democrats so much that don't do shit for us. And be dissing Trump and like they helping us with tax, like eating, we getting out of jail, we doing all this. This man Trump was like the most favorite white person, and y'all let media make it. We used to use him, and we ain't mentioned none. Of, we ain't know who none of these people are. We don't know who these people are. We don't know who the mayor of Chicago is. You know what I'm saying? We don't know. This person just came out the blue, and we still killing each other like crazy. You know what I'm saying? All these industry plants and these rappers and this and that. That y'all understand that y'all mentally controlled. And use and you not loved y'all just simply like just a a, a a ticking like they just counting on the killings, the deaths, the murders, the vote, the vote. You know what I'm saying? At the boardroom when they want to like hire celebrities, they're like, how do we get this celebrity that relates directly to this financial group and mm. the community? That's why they don't have. They they might have black people. They ain't got dark 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 skin black people mm. on these on these boards and these corporations. We are in modern day. Slavery, and at this point, it's like I put my life on it. This shit that I'm saying right here, bro. And let me tell you, I don't want no white Christians come up to me telling about how I shouldn't be cursing and what I should be doing. That's still other forms of. It was Christians in the KKK too. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Were. Also, Christianity. There's black. There's Egyptian monks from back in 1300s. So when atheists tell us, "Oh, well, Christianity was thrown at you by the slave," on no, it wasn't. Jesus been here. We the blood of Christ. That's our. That's our people. This is the first time I heard of eight men and drink champs ever. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> shit got real. That is but, <laughs> no, so, so I'm trying to tell you, man. Jesus is real, bro. And man, black people, we ain't gonna sit. I remember when I called to get Rocky uh, out of jail. I called Trump. He said, man. Trump said, yeah, you my friend. You know, my black approval rating went up 40%, you know, when you, when you came to the White House. And everybody's like, yeah, he's so crazy, he's so crazy. Look at his hair, look at he wearing, he wearing his hat, blah, blah, blah. I'm, I'm protecting, that's what Jay said, I'm protecting you by saying a red hat. That's why I got so, you know, irate about it. You know, by the way, we can all have an opinion. I do agree with you that they do use influencers to... You know, for us to go different ways, and it's other than just on the internet. It's with politics and what have you. Rap, but, rap but, music. <laughs> but like I was saying, he was denied <laughs> without public. I mean, without um, prejudice, prejudice. prejudice. Without prejudice, which means he can come back. Oh, so to, that's a positive thing. It's a positive okay. thing. It's still open. He so has he can a chance come back. to make it out because of the first step. At, he has a chance. Explain more to him. Mm. Yeah. So <laughs> that, and that's why we building the team. To, um, when we go back, we want to have a stronger. 
Right. Just a stronger case for what right. we bring what we bring to him. So we, you know, we and how get long has he been locked up? Said over forty years. Forty seven years. That's, that's, my mother was pregnant lifetime, with me man. when he that's went to jail. I've been going to jail my whole life. I've never been arrested. That's insanity, man. Uh, when I was a kid, I used to get money from behind the toilet because he go in the back. Well, it, that's how they made it look. He'd take me in the bathroom, get some money behind the toilet, give me $5. Come out, I was happy to see my father because I knew I would get $5, you know? And, wow. All right, listen. That's I just want to ask. Probably not even, what, what, what is, I'm not even qualified to ask this, but I'm going to ask it anyway. So at one point, was he the leader of this notorious gang? Because I, 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 I really, I, I know, but I don't really know. I and, mean, there's no way around that. Okay. You know what I mean? Okay. It's, it is what it is. It grew, it started from somewhere. Right. And, you know, as he got older and his understanding grew, and seeing young men coming to jail, right. you know, he started doing other things. He, you know, right. did things like you had to go to school if you was in there. You, right. you know, when you came out, you were supposed to each one teach one in your community with, mm. you know what I mean, different things. He, it was a thing called growth and development. It was a mm. book. Mm. They act like it was a negative thing, but right. same way like they say the Crips. Crips started out as a, a positive, yeah, right. positive. Yeah. But it was a guideline from becoming. From, from being a, a um, an outcast to the side, to society to becoming a part of society mm. and trying to have economical and political and just building our own community back up, you know? But they said it was a game book. Right. So what made you want to be involved? Having economic and political freedom. Mm. Well, well, I was involved because all my niggas is GD. Right. That just that we just all folks and that's how we like grew up and da 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 like but and what's the opposite? It's GDs and disciples. That's the opposite game. The opposite is Vivendi. Did he just say Vivendi? <laughs> is that the people who own University? Yes. Jesus, we not we, we not we not we not we not in the opposite gang at all. Mm. GDs and BDs and did we all the same? We all on these blocks that we don't own and we don't have any political say so. And without political say so, you cannot move your people forward. They can put whatever they want in the schools. They can put whatever they want in the food. They can put whatever they want in music. They can put whatever. Go ahead, what is it? Yeah, but yeah. Like, like he's saying, like my father used to bring yeah everybody together. Wow. Yeah. You know what I mean? In peace yeah. to deal with they situations together. in the community. Everybody. So all the different organizations. Right. And it's those. It you know like, what I mean? It it's like it's a lot of different. Worse. Anyone you name. Without, without, it worse. seemed like Chicago got worse without the OGs um, in the building. Definitely. When, yeah. when, when I would go, I went to, uh, I went to prison with my wife and with Common, and they had everyone on the yard. Then we went into uh, what they call it, the high security. What's the name of the? Oh, where it's the like whole, pretty much the box yeah. or was the, the the more intense level you the hole no but it wasn't a hole it was just like a glass high like this place. Mm. Okay. high security place and I looked Andre 3000 Kendrick me Rizza it was all the versions of us that it didn't work mm. that's crazy I was looking at it, I was like that's crazy. There's not too many styles of video game characters in this in this video right. game. It's like right. I think it's like eight archetypes or, or something. Right. It's like you get the same character. Why is it? This is not to detract from this, but why is it always a star quarterback and all this GTA? Right. This simulation. Right. You know, but God, you know, victory favors the brave. Right. God love this. God <laughs> say we want we, we want Hoover home, right. use what you got. You know what I'm saying? Let's let's get the lawyer. And let me tell you what lawyer is. Just since we hit all red buttons, we got the lawyer that got just got Cosby out. Mm. Let me relax. <laughs> but he got Cosby out. Yeah. And, and she is so funny. She came by the studio, and she wanted to take a picture with her friend. And I told her. Uh, don't take any pictures. She's like, oh, she ain't got nothing phone. I was like, let me see her phone. And she stood up. She started screaming at me. She said, like, I don't even got to be at the studio. I do stuff that's important. I say, I'm, I do stuff that matters. She started screaming on me in the studio. I was like, I like her. 
<laughs> well, you I like she was just taking. No, no, she was just taking a picture with a friend because they was okay. like, you know, okay. you know, happy to just be in the studio. We was recording and stuff, and like a couple weeks ago in New York, and I was just thinking like, um, I'm texting her real nice afterwards because I'm like, man. I don't want to tell Miss Wendy I lost our lawyer because I told her not to <laughs> take a picture in the studio. But what I'm saying is she a real, she a real person. I even, I actually brought her, you know what's beautiful when you lean into it? Because it was when we was in Atlanta and we brought a lot of different um, organizations, you know, together. And actually, you know, because we had Dirk and Larry and me and Ruga and different people on that album actually, you know, what Promise told me that be with Dirk all the time is that it actually has affected Chicago in a positive way. When Malik Youssef said it actually has that that Donda exercise, when we was at the Mercedes Benz, mm -hmm. I'm talking about this, it was like, we had everybody right. in there together talking. So it was... Right. It, it, it already started a positive change. What I like is I leaned into this idea of us get a, let's get a better lawyer because they got me on some, you can't wear a hat, you can't say this, you can't say that. It also made me like, oh, maybe I shouldn't, you know, work on Hoover case as much. And I'm like, man, no, I have to do this. God has called me to do this. And Manop it's beautiful. was like, they had just got caught. Manop called Jen Jennifer up, boom. She was into it. She from Chicago originally, yes. right? Yes. From Chicago, prison reform, watch this. She talked to my wife and gave her another code book while she was training to be a lawyer. Wow. You know what I mean? Because I, I, was, I was giving ideas for skits for SNL, and my wife was in a session with the lawyer that's trainer, and the lawyer got on the phone and started making bad suggestions. And I was like, man, this dude's an idiot. They got an idiot training my wife. She gonna fail the bar the third time because I feel like there's people who might not want, they don't want you. There's people who might not want Kim Kardashian to become a lawyer because you know what happens when Kim Kardashian becomes a lawyer? That shirt gets a little bit higher. The cleavage gets a little bit more covered up. It's 14 year old girls, 17 year old girls that's posing a little bit. They want to become a lawyer. Mm. She affects people in that way. And it's people oh. that don't want her to affect these women in that way. They want her to mm. affect them in that other way. And they could put a lawyer that give you all the right things and just enough wrong things that you just miss your test by this much. You get them next time. Right. And it just so happened that God had me here. Because I, I see the smallest thing. Right. But when I see somebody move their hat like this from over there and be like... Right. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? So yeah. I heard him say this dumbass suggestion. I was like, and this is the person yeah. that you got next to you at all times? And it's hard because, you know, being a celebrity is hard to feel love. So those that are like psychology majors, they know how to make us feel like we loved. First of all, we're very narcissistic. So who the hell does a real person gonna sit us, listen to I us, talk about ourselves? just learned that word the other day. Uh, yeah. Who, yeah. Who, who, if someone can sit around and hear you talk about you all the time, they not there for you, they working for somebody else and it's their job to listen to you. They ain't no grown ass person, self-respected person got time to listen to you, all your damn problems all the time without never bringing up some of their problems. Yeah. You know, this is what they call plants. Right. Industry plants. Industry plants. You don't think the most popular, most famous woman in the world got plants? The only thing they got nannies. Hey Kim, hey Kim. Oh, don't listen to him. Yeah, he's so crazy. What? Big facts. What you talking about? But at the end of the day, I ain't got the paperwork yet. Mm. So I'm going to come on this joint and try to save my family and keep my family together and try to save his family, my extended family, and pull our family together. Hey, I just wanted to say, I know um, this is your show and you come yeah. to get the flowers to yeah. Ye, yeah. but I want to get all y'all, y'all, all y'all y'all yeah. flowers for, you know yeah. what I mean, allowing me the platform nah, to Absolutely. put this message out here. You know, it's been a long time. I've been yeah. fighting for a long time. And right. It just needs to go as far as it possibly can. So, Is there anything yeah. else that people could do to help? Yeah. Well, What's at going this point on? right now, you can just keep checking the Larry Hoover Project on Instagram. Okay. And that's where the information will start. It'll be passed out at on what we're doing. We need maybe a 
petition or whatever it is we right. may need to do. You know what I mean? Because you got to think of, sorry, 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 but 47 years is kind of like a life sentence. That is a life sentence. It is like, a life you, sentence. He already it served His life. children like, are grown, he got grandkids, that's a life like, that's sentence. That's real talk. Like, I mean, the people on his case, the same exact case, right. filed the same paperwork home. Right. We don't know about you. We see you a little differently. Right. You was a leader. We don't know if you can come home and not lead people. Right. And at 71, you go lead people negatively. Right. Yeah, right. 71. Jeez. And that's what they don't want. They don't want us to have a positive leader. Mm. They want us to not have the redemption. Mm. That's why I say. Like the verses that you talk Mama about. is dying around. Daddy is dying around. Well, I want to know when daddy is back in town. Yeah. <laughs> daddy is back in town. You got what I'm saying? Yeah, it's no redemption for him. They, yeah, they, you know. That's when dad, when you, when Hoover home, daddy's back in town. Like, it's so, so are you. I'm sorry, let me just finish because I, I'm I'm sitting back and I'm sitting sitting here and you saying ownership because one thing you said to me on the phone was I want to buy America. I don't know if you remember telling me that. We weren't supposed to bring that part up. No. I wasn't supposed <laughs> to. <lie. laughs> no good. No good. But, but you really. No, what I'm saying, I'm going. I'm going to. Okay. I'm, that's, that's like some real talk to me. Like he's like, yo, listen, we are gonna buy America. I'm like, yeah. wait a minute. All right, Kanye, I gotta get a little bit more up. <laughs> but I'm with you. Yeah. But that's shit that people don't think about. Like, like even with the Wyoming move. Like, um, I said it right, Wyoming. Yes. Yeah. Like, so you bought the whole land out there? Uh, I got twelve thousand acres. I got two ranches in Wyoming. But we're gonna pull up because. Shameless name drop. Elon been telling me like, yo, you gotta come out to Austin. You gotta see what we're doing, what we're building out here. Jay Prince just said you gotta come out to Houston. You gotta see. What... I said, can I build on my land? Oh, cause they keep stopping yeah. what I'm doing. Yeah. You know, it's about community building. I hit Thug up. I was like, I got the bars yeah. on it. One of it is the plumbing and irrigation. Make one system for the entire community. Put one farm in the middle of community. Make it so there's no cars in the middle of community. Base the diet that we plant around the Dr. Sebi diet. Use generators that you have to be on the grid a little bit when you're in America, but use the least amount of, you, you, you thought I wasn't gonna get myself killed in this interview. Use the, the least amount of on the grid energy as possible. Tesla said the earth is a giant, Generator, Conductor, and it is right, yeah, yeah. now all of this information is th this this engines that run off trash, this refrigerators that are silent that run off fire. This is but we all been put into the program, into the grid, into the system. One of the things is this lady named Temple Grandin that changed the meat industry because uh, she was on the spectrum uh, and she could feel the cows' pain, so she put them in these circular vats. And the cows, as they went to the slaughterhouse, they was happy, sort of like the music industry. Mm. Because we the cows, happy on our way right. to the slaughterhouse. Slaughter. Now, um, but for us, our existence, for instance, the amount, like if I go into designs or any space, there's too many, there's too many lights in every restaurant, especially in the middle of the day just use a skylight. In every restaurant, in every home, it helps you with your mental health. A lot, we all are on the spectrum somewhere. Just only a couple of us went to the hospital or have been diagnosed with medication. When I slammed that paparazzi that day, they made me go to anger management. I'm sitting there with Amber Rose at the anger management situation and the, the, the anger management coach just keeps on hitting on Amber and then giving me some medication. <laughs> that was the beginning of my medication. That was the snowball into eventually ended up being diagnosed as bipolar, which there's a lot of people mm. who will say, I don't believe that you are actually bipolar. And anytime somebody wants to, you know, say that I'm wrong about something, hide the truth, lie, they say, yeah, he's crazy. It's just the ultimate final cutoff to not have to listen. Like I said, we were born into, we were raised into this life. Racist, sexist, homophobic, but now also a phobia of things with mental health. Do we feel like that could be the end of any conversation? Stop talking, stop thinking, stop feeling. You crazy. 
Stop being like, I don't like that one Drake line. You crazy. Stop being like, damn, I was the Louis Vuitton Don. Now they got Virgil and he got the Nikes at the same time. You crazy. Oh, you ain't voting for Kamala. You ain't voting for Biden. You crazy. Oh, you running for president? You crazy. Are you sleeping in the stand? You crazy. Oh, you cut your hair different? You crazy. Are you wearing skinny jeans back in the days? You crazy. Are you walking around with the Hermes bags? You crazy. And I could do all these things and people, and I'm going to tell you like this, for Britney Spears and for anybody, okay, I'm crazy, but what y'all going to do about it? All this shit over with now. I'm not I'm Billy crazy up out here. Mm. So y'all can say that crazy talk for somebody else. Y'all not, y'all not, y'all not gonna, y'all not, y'all not gonna diminish what I'm doing and what God is doing with me in the future by trying to cut my legs off or cut my influence off by calling me crazy. That don't work. You know what I'm saying? They be like, you need your meds. You're not in your best mental state right now. No, I know what's going on, and I'm not having it. I'm Buffalo Bill. You know, I'm one of them characters from the movie. You know, back in the days. Think about there will be blood. Man, they wasn't having it. I'm not having none of it from nobody ever, period, on my life, bro, on my mama, on God, period, I'm not having nothing, period. This is the truth, we're gonna have to deal with the truth because we can't build communities off of lies. We gotta build communities off of a foundation. We build our foundation on the truth. Only the truth will set us free. Right? No, 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 I see, nigga, I've been watching you, nigga. <laughs> This is beautiful shit right here. Yeah. This, the event, I feel like you. I feel, I feel like we got a DJ question. I feel like we're gonna have a part two of this of this interview. Can we get part one and part two? Because we could talk about. I mean, life is a big keyboard, but we could talk about actual rap, how we chop this up, how me and consequences no, but let me, thing. Let me, right let me just. Yeah. Okay, let me, I mean, I, and I do. We we yeah. do need to talk about that. But you do know you are our Walt Disney. Like, yes. I want you to to know that. Like, um, yeah. I, I I remember watching interviews with you, which you you saying like. You wanted to be that, yeah. but um, you've actually accomplished that. Like w- when a Yeezy drops, when a sneaker drops, yeah. like our community goes crazy for it. Like yeah. you, like when you said it, you said Yeezy jumped over the jump, man. Yeah. I don't know if you knew what you were saying, yeah. but jo- Jordan still won't meet with me. <laughs> I'm trying to meet with Michael Jordan. I'm like, man, it's. It's a song, man. But <laughs> <laughs> oh, he took it first. <laughs> no, no. Michael Jordan said this thing. It's like, why y'all acting like Virgil made me hot? These shoes is hot. Like this, is somebody met with Michael Jordan. That oh. used to work with me. The, um, the, but Nike really ain't had shit since the Yeezys. They can't, you know. But they could get it back. You know what I'm saying? There was a period where Drake just I couldn't get not no track shit. Okay, but let's you know go for the Red October. Let's yeah. go for the Red October. But you, it was like, I was Nike and Drake is like Yeezy, a rap. Like, I'm Yeezy to what Nike is. And now with Donda, you're starting to get some traction back. He ain't put miracles on me. If I lean into that. And you still wearing Nike socks. It's kind of weird. Absolutely. Nike, yeah. man, but I'm wearing it because I'm not no slave to that. This is my partner. Like, tell me this. Adidas could sign Pharrell or sign Drake or sign Pusha, right? But I can't wear Nike? That's pretty one-sided. You got know what I'm saying? That's pretty one-sided, especially... Sorry. It, it was they was Just losing. Get comfortable. They was losing two billion dollars when I, there was a fifteen billion dollar company losing two billion dollars when I got there. Now, Yeezy's a three billion dollar company and they a sixty billion dollar comp- company. So who got the short end of the stick? How was that engineered? You know, it's not to either we get respect directly from these companies or we do our own thing. But I'm gonna lay them on their back. I'm gonna lay them on their back. Gap, Adidas, I run it. I'm Putin. I run it. I'm laying them Ooh, on their back. Until, until they, no, because I realized, like, I was like, I was like, man, I'm like, I'm like young Putin until I realized that culture is a form. But what you say? No, no it's, what's it's, funny? Uh, your reference to Putin no, is amazing. No, no, no it's actually. about the Russian president. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. I was like, yo, I'm young Putin until I. from Chicago. Until I realized. <laughs> from Oblock, right? Yeah, yeah so, no. Like, this is, you talking about Putin. He's talking about, about Vladimir. Uh, yeah, Vladimir yeah. Putin. I, okay. I, I, I used to say I was young Vladimir until I realized I was Vladimir. You know the moment when I realized that it was? Mm-hmm. When I realized that culture is an oil. Culture is an energy, mm-hmm. and I'm the king of culture for the past 20 and the next 2,000 years. I gotta ask you this one question. It's like, I love everyone. You know what I'm saying? Everything is equal. I'm not uh, uh, a person, a black person, 
And America can't be labeled with something against another minority. Mm -hmm. I think that's unfair, and it's not even really about, anti-Semitic is not a matter of, do you, oh, you hate Jews. No, it's a matter of control. Mm. It's a matter of the fact that blacks work for Jews, Jewish people, and blacks are Jews. Mm. Blacks are blood of Christ. Blacks are Hebrews, the 12 lost tribes. Jew, mm. You know, and they, they, we don't know this. And it's like, bro, these is like, these is facts, bro, but it, it's up, man. Everything happened for a reason. Because I'd be thinking, I'm like, man, hmm, this the, is this the whole thing. I'm working for the gap. Ain't nobody care about the gap till we went to the gap, bro. You know what I'm saying? And it's like I moved that stock. And they be doing all kind of behind the back. You know, even when they drop the, the hoodies, they made it look like the Drake cover on purpose and didn't show me. You know, it had the multiple colors. I don't know if you remember, and you could do this overlap. Boom, show that on the screen. And I'm just saying, I tell them. You know what I mean? The banks, the fact that I'm not on the boardrooms is a form of supremacy. And it's a matter of just like, Yo, Steve Jobs had to go down for five years, so it might be a moment, post this interview, post whenever, where it says, Kanye, or the artist, the, the human being formerly known as Kanye West is no longer the richest black man in America. He's homeless, but just wait. Wait two, three, four years, and Putin, Terminator, Putin, <laughs> whatever you want to call it, <laughs> yay, we'll be back, and we're gonna be Yeminator. back. Big, yeah, bigger, better, more community than ever, because all the people that would be afraid of this don't need to be around because it's get free time. It well, ain't, well, it ain't what you don't know, right? Because yeah, you, just, you just spoke about being on the boardroom, right? Yeah. For us that don't know, we, we, we also heard you say like you almost made like two billion or something like that with them. What is, why is it so important to be in the boardroom? Tell us, like break it down for people who don't know. Decision making, I would Decision assume. Decision making. <laughs> wow. Decision making, like, I heard this uh, manager say one time, he said, you know what I hate about artists? They take 80% of my money. Jesus. That's how much the manager controls. Last night when I was watching a fight, this boxer was out there, bah, 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 and the dude from the side, he was overweight, he's screaming out, go low, go low, go <laughs> low, da -da, ha, bye bye. He's telling them what to do, right? When the dude started bleeding, that dude got up, stopped the fight. He wasn't even out there boxing. He was just control of everything from the from the back. That's why they say Jake. Is that a good or bad thing? Uh, I just think it is what it is. You know, for me, as like a Steve Jobs kind of personality, I can't be. You know, can you can you go can you go, go over there? Go over there. You fucking them up, man. Come on. It's just come in on, my you, 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 you fucking up. You like you ain't gonna ask Biggs. So it's like hey, Biggs, can you go over there? Too? <laughs> <laughs> I just said it more kind politely. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so, um, so you see this guy, he's fighting. Yeah, you, you don't see it as a good thing or a bad thing. It just I, is what it is. Boy, nothing is good or bad, is it? Mm. It all just is what it is at this point. Mm. It just all just is what it is. Mm. And you know, we got there's two type of archetypes: clout thirsty whores and power hungry maniacs in this game called life. This is I, this is cowboys in it. Can you say that again? Nope. Okay. <laughs> we rewind it, no problem. <laughs> Power. I don't know what. It was, it was deep. It was too deep. It was deep. Too deep. It was no, too I meant deep. to say sluts. Okay. <laughs> now, we all, we all are a combination of all that. So let's say it's only one type of archetype in this game. Power Hungry Maniacs. That would be the name of our video game of life. Power Hungry Maniacs. Power Hungry Maniacs. What kind of power? Because you could have passive aggressive power. Mm. You know, you could have people, you know, how you feel? Nothing. Somebody, you know, you didn't piss them off and they don't talk back to you. They make you feel something. You know what I'm saying? Man, how many wives is really in control of the house? Mm. You know what I'm saying? They got the full technique. It's like the man, yeah, you the man of the house. That means you ain't controlling shit. Because mm. <laughs> the wife got the kids. Mm. Right. They got the sex. Mm. They got the clothes. They run the nanny. They blah, 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 blah. You don't. Really, it's like women can basically run the, <laughs> run the globe. Let me tell you, OnlyFans... Women, when they were doing it, it wasn't particularly for power, it was more attention, because in general, woman wants their flowers, they want their attention. With a man- We're talking about OnlyFans? Yeah, OnlyFans. Okay, right. With men, we, we, we just, we lower our power for just desire. Desire, men, we just be horny. 
You know what I'm saying? And then we're going to text these girls a DM or whatever, I, whatever they do on OnlyFans because I, I get my OnlyFans off of Reddit. I bootleg the OnlyFans. What? I don't. <laughs> <laughs> so. You want to bootleg OnlyFans? <laughs> That's the headline right there. That's being there. All these only fans gonna be so mad at me. <laughs> you as an artist, <laughs> would you want people to boo like that? <laughs> so, but whatever, whatever type of interaction that, because I, I know, you know from being single for a bit, it'd be a bunch of only fans. They not hoes at all. They just getting money, but it don't even be about the money or it'd be about the showing off. It really is more about the attention. Because they look up and it's like you look, you know, like for my phone, it's like when I wake up, like if I don't have like 10 texts or something, you know, my, uh, what, what is that? Your um, serotonins and uh, dopamines and stuff that you're, is, is a little bit lower. When I see those 12 texts, it kind of goes up, it kind of brightens and you want to read. Man, even if it might be some bullshit, but you just like, we, the best thing we got as people in this game of life is people. Yeah. Then you talked yeah. about your father talking through the toilet. Yeah. You know, the ability to just have a conversation, yeah. you know, is the best thing. Like this, right? We're going to have it. Might be a little bit of uproar here, but it's going to be a conversation. It goes away. We come back a year later, whenever it's going to be more conversation. This conversation that we understand each other, we get more civil. And the fact that we are in a conversation, you know, is us headed to a more lighter level of uh, uh, a being that we could talk it out. You know, like certain things that I've said today, people want to cancel. There were people, there'll be people who might want to cancel me for it. Oh, so I can't have a conversation? You can't have a conversation if you don't start with your actual opinion. Mm. You know, right. they'd be like, um, what's the name? Um, people, when I say pro-choice, they'll start bullying me at the table. Like, you, uh, what? what? Yeah. And I'd be like, hey, I'm Christian. This is my opinion. And I'm not, the, I'm not the governor of Texas, so I'm actually not in a position to make that opinion, but I will make this orphanage I will lean into my opinion. That's the 1984 thought control, ain't it? That you can't have an opinion. What's your favorite part of the game? Is it making the record or performing the record? Um, right now, the game of life, this would be a part of the performance. But I like both of them in music. You know, that's the thing. I just I told Jay Prince last night. I said, man, I'm going to get back to performing. You know, because of COVID. You know, you start to forget. You know what I'm saying? I told Anna Winter uh, the other day. I was like, yo, you need to style something with me. She the head of all the condonats, right? But she was a stylist at one point. You know, it's fun to just go and just put the outfits together. You know, like I'll be styling Kim. That's a language of love for me. You know, that's how I, that's how I bagged up in the first place. I'm not gonna lie. You know, I pulled up. I had the ball mons and the jackets and stuff. I pulled the jackets and the shoes. And actually, so after the Taylor Swift moment happened, I I, I did a personal exile to myself and I went to Japan and Virgil was my assistant and lead designer with me at the time. Before we even had Donda as an idea for a design company, and he, had, he basically had the laptop. And uh, we would be in a Japanese room, and we, we had an opportunity to work at Fendi, and there's a guy named Michael Burke, who's now the head of Louis Vuitton, who actually a higher Virgil, that I'd be talking to him. So I'm done, all of America hate me. You was wrong, you wrong for this one, you won't win this. You know, everybody telling me, you shouldn't have ran on stage, you were rude, God forbid. So, uh, <laughs> so um, I'm there. Then we get the opportunity to go to Fendi. So me and Virgil moved to Rome. We work at Fendi. And on the weekends, we would go to um, visit Giuseppe Zanotti. And he had let us stay at his castle. He called it the castle that he had before his divorce. He lost his castle, too. Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, you say that like you imply like you lost your castle. Yeah, you see that? Probably you just see I did see the, the Hidden Hills. The, Hidden Hills she, she bought the castle. <laughs> how does this work out? How does how do, how do y'all? Uh, you, you, no, you, you know, sleep it alone. You know, so okay. so <laughs> so Giuseppe Zanotti would have um, the uh, he taught me how to make heels. Like so, if you think about all the Yeezy heels that ever happened, the, you know, the clear heel, just different things I did. I learned from Giuseppe Zanotti, and also, I actually, on the low, designed the double zipper Giuseppe Zanotti sneaker. Wow. When I used to work with Giuseppe. Wow. And Virgil was there the whole time taking notes, like. 
Then I would take a shoe. Yeah, he was a. Uh, so I would take a shoe, and it'd be one person I would think about that I would want to show these shoes. It would be Kim, and I would go to her house. Before and, she was your girl. She yeah, before. Girl. Yeah, uh, I would go to her house, and I would have her try on the shoes. And one of the shoes actually came out as Giuseppe Zanotti, and it just almost looks like kind of like this, and it has like this. You gold. Tell us we got style too. That's what you're trying to say. All right, we're gonna take that. <laughs> Uh, I mean, this is God ordained. So, (laughs) my daughter's named after you. So, that's right. right. You heard that? Damn, I'm sorry. So, they had this gold plate. I don't know if any of the ladies here will remember this Zenodi, but it looked like almost like an armor shoe or something. Had this gold plate, but I would take it. I designed that. I would take it over to Kim's apartment and have a try. I just don't have. I only have one shoe because I always picture this idea of like how she's going to the Met now and wearing these outfits and getting like you know, Balenciaga to dress her from head to toe. Mm. So that was like, that was my language of love to be styling. So I talked to Anna, went to the head of Vogue and I was like, yo, you know, we need to style. And I said that to say touring. I need to go ahead and grab that mic because I'm one of the best, if not the best performers in the world, the best at stage design, you know, and and also when I called Travis Boy earlier, that's not on some man-to-man stuff. That's on some competitor NBA kind of stuff. I respect Trav. I mean, I respect you John. You boy just now? No, early. I was okay, like, right. boy, that, uh, when I did early in the interview, if y'all keep that part. Um, uh, it's just, you know, if, I, if, I, if I'm the father, because I'm the father, the sons got to know they're the sons. And if you get out of line while well, I'm still in this king place, I got to let you know that you my son and that's what it is and can, we can't get nowhere a, 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 around that that's why you asked me if I do a verses with or what I do with someone with, with Jay I was like man I'm Jay's son he the boss he the boss at the end of the day I work for Jay anytime Jay calls me for anything I'm going to show up I'm sure I'm going to get mad he's going to piss me off or something like that uh, and, th- and this is just more cultural this is just, this is like, we don't got to communicate in these, like, on the eighth page of the contract and move around in different kind of ways. You just need to really be straight up for, because we'd be quicker to kill each other than we are to talk something all the way through. Mm-hmm. Let's just communicate. Let's communicate. Okay, people might have their opinion on what I said, but let's communicate about it. Well, let's talk about that. Yeah. There's one yeah. night you, I believe it was in Miami, it could, I could be wrong, and you got on stage and you gave Jay these words. Yes. Why didn't you pick up the phone and just call him? I did that too. Oh. I've, I've done this too. I, I, or sometimes he won't want to talk to me because there's people who, I, even when I said, uh, to, when I saw Jay, we had a, a nice polite conversation at Bernard Arnault's wedding. Bernard Arnault is the head of Louis Vuitton, richest man of all time. So he just did the Tiffany campaign deal with them. Uh, I said to Bernard Arnault at the wedding, because it's his son's wedding. And I said, Bernard Arnault, when I'm the richest man of all time, I hope my son is cool enough to hang out with Kanye West. It was like a double compliment to myself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, but but when I saw Jay, one of the things I, I was talking about something, talking about something, someone said, you, somebody talks to me, I'm gonna talk about five things at once. And I said, the one thing he said, oh, that's a conversation that I wanna have. And afterwards I was thinking, I went to the bathroom, I was like, man, it's not always about the conversation you wanna have. Mm. It's about the conversation. Mm. So if I have a conversation that Jay don't want to have, he going to avoid the conversation. Mm-hmm. If I have a conversation that Drake don't want to have about what did this line right here mean, mm-hmm. though, he going to avoid the conversation. Mm-hmm. You know, and by the time I'm like, y'all avoiding conversation, I say it out loud, I'm now the crazy one. Mm-hmm. And I'll be trying to just like, yo, man, let it's, me just start. the Mike Tyson reference of biting the ear. You just bite the ear because, you know, it's like I be feeling like everyone is just so for the media. You know what I'm saying? It's just how does it look to black media? How does it look to social media? How do we not look crazy? People's whole idea is like this search of not looking crazy. But when Jay-Z became my idol, you know, it was when he said, come and get me. I was, no, I saw Jay-Z in the middle of a fight in, uh, in Atlanta or some just standing extremely stoic in that situation I was like I love Jay-Z a boxing fight or a regular yeah it's just fight? like one of them random like uh, Jermaine Dupri weekends and shit and everybody yeah. running around blah, 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 all this type of shit he just you know all the un-shit you know when I had to get it to I was just like man Jay-Z is my 
Right. You know, at the end of the day, I always lean. You got. It's another thing I want to say also. Let's say it. You I'm know, in. I'm sorry to all the back pack community. You know, due to the fact that I was from the streets, but I never killed anybody, it was just easier for me to pose like a backpacker. But I actually really <laughs> love street niggas. <laughs> yeah, and so I don't really posing? listen to backpack music like that. Okay. I listen to Cash Money, Jay Z, <laughs> okay, Lil backpacker. Baby. Uh, let me just say something. When I pose as a backpacker. But that scene accepted you quicker as an MC. Yes. I backpack you know what I'm MCs. Saying? We're gonna let's, let's just yeah. name a few. That's how I live. Exactly. Dilated. That's most. Yeah. That's slum village. Yeah. And so you say you're not really from there. Not at all. I was using. <laughs> <laughs> you said, oh, shit. I don't know. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. That's over honest. <laughs> I apologize once again to Kwali. I'm sorry. I never fucked with your raps. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. But we recently <laughs> seen you with Dave Chappelle. Y'all was all hanging out. Was Ty Lib there? Oh shit, I did just see that nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. There's gonna be 10 niggas with fitted caps from 12 years ago chasing me. He's not letting me go. What? But you saw Bosa. I've never been this. I'm so wrong. But you did see Chappelle after Chappelle's controversy. Because obviously you heard about the controversy. They're they really trying to cancel it. Man, if they don't get the fuck up out of here, bro. Yeah. It's like, yeah. try, man, bro, what cancel what? What cancel? What we canceling out here? Mm -hmm. it, it was the Stranger Things commercial uh, where um, Dave Chappelle was in it. I don't know if you saw it, mm -hmm. but the girl was like blowing people through the wall and shit or something like that. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's the wrong terminology. This girl was <laughs> <laughs> using her mind <laughs> to te telekinetically push people through air. Mm -hmm. And um, Dave Chappelle jumps out. He says, do me. Do me. Man, enough of this shit already, boy. Y'all just wait till someone ain't affecting the stock and y'all just take them out one by one to put impose fear on anybody with freedom of thought. Why well, I smack the shit out you when I see, don't tell me what the fuck to do ever in your life, boy. None of y'all Hollywood plant ass niggas tell none of us what we do. This is our coaching now. It's up. You can't cancel none of us. It's up, boy. And all of y'all scared niggas that's running around doing what these Hollywood niggas telling you to do. Fuck y'all, man. It's up. Y'all either is about our culture that we grew up about or you about yourself. Selfish, scared ass house niggas. So they canceling or what? Mm. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be, I'll, be, I'll be irritated. No. <laughs> yeah, we can tell. No. I'll be slightly just irritated. So I, 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 I want to ask you this. It's probably, it's probably an ignorant question, but it's probably not. Mm. What do you love more, music or fashion? If you had, if you had to pick one right now, would you? Would you? Ooh, because I like the visual presentation and I like the sonic presentation. But if I had to pick one. I would do music. Yeah, my family, I'm a garmento more than I'm a designer. But. I don't know what that word was, but I just didn't gar, want to stop you. A garmento is like the fashion district. Like garments? Is, garments, is, is yeah. We are the garmentos. Okay. Like I got, I got cousins that got locked up for clothing, for selling bootleg cross stealing colors polos. and. Cross colors. No, not shit. for are stealing polos, for selling. For creating them. Creating oh, and selling massive amount and, and driving around in BMWs. Ooh. My family been rich, rich. We been all my family got big houses. You know. They open the door like the police, I don't like it. Okay, yeah. I'm sorry, continue. Yeah, all my family have big houses, nice house. It's so funny, I show everybody my house whenever I do a new house and everybody's so impressed except for my family. Right. But because you recreated yeah. your house on stage, correct? Yeah. That was your childhood. That was that was I was looking at the architecture. I was like, man, that's an actually a nice house. We actually turned that house into a church. Mm. Really? Yeah. Because I see you bought it. Yeah. 
and just putting everything around the block and just healing the blocks, the farms. It's like, it's going, you know, it's going, it's going to happen. In Jesus' name, we pray. It's going to happen that the city's going to be healed, mm. that the old man is coming home, mm. that we ain't going to have to be killing each other for little things that we don't own, that we're going to be out of this. Like, God, your people are ready. Your people are ready to come home, to, to be free of these years of mental in prison, social, emotional, cultural imprisonment that society has put us in. Y'all placed them guns in our communities. Y'all took y'all strategically took the leaders out, mm -hmm. placed them in 23 and one type of situations. Mm -hmm. Yo, it's it's done. Time's up. It's finished. You got two people that's you got me and Chappelle. We ain't scared. Mm -hmm. There's gonna be some more people that ain't scared. There's gonna be some more people that ain't scared mm -hmm. and they ain't really prepared. Mm -hmm. You know for this and all you have to do is not be scared God favors the brave you ain't got to fear nothing but God and don't be scared about nothing they're going to bring out on you this is that you know what I'm saying all the the words and this tape and we got this boy listen we got a community to raise up we got a people to save we have to make this different we no longer slaves bro right. no, no, no more of this record industry shit and I know it's easy for me to say because I'm out of this contract but I, I right. put in the work though you know when I put that shit up I be like man this is some Bruce Lee I'm putting my kids life you know what right. I'm saying like this is like really standing up to the system when I was putting up the Vivendi family I'm talking about these men the French the French own 80% of the African banks and then China buying the rest mm. This is Africa, the greatest resources, but what we don't know how to do, take our own land and turn it into something. We know how to get on a phone and look at some videos and, and try to become musicians. I love Jay-Z said, got us forced all into entertainment, you know, rap, and mm -hmm. sports and entertainment or something until we even. Mm -hmm. But so, you know what? I do have to give Jay, obviously, his credit as a CEO. Everyone's got their own way, you know? We gotta understand, we are inside of a slave ship, so, Sometimes I'll be like pointing fingers at people like, you ain't speak up, you ain't do this. And they're like, I know, you know, we, we, we got to be, you know, it's, it's kind of like um, I was dating this, this one girl. I'm not going to say her name, so <clears throat> I could tell the story, but I seemed like a shot. Um, and it was almost like when she came and saw me, like I told you, I'm like, I'm like a Vic or something, you know, you could just, I say yes to everything. And it was almost like she was taking all of this water metaphorically. Uh, she was taking the water out the top of the, the fridge and she looks around at all my friends and says, man, y'all don't see all these water bottles at the top? Y'all crazy? Y'all want to get some water? I know y'all thirsty. Y'all want to get some water? And they said, <laughs> they said, uh, I know we just take it from the bottom. Deep. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> but it's, but it's deep. Meaning like they all stealing And the way I look To Jay Z is like the person That's announcing That the water is there mm. And Jay is like We just take it from the bottom We gonna make it there Virgil is like don't worry I'm here I'm here I'm with you I'm just inside They not finna let you inside You seen your last interview <laughs> Who the hell gonna hire you, man? <laughs> what you talking about? You telling them you're gonna blow them. There's no troll. You're not using a Trojan at all. You raw dogging <laughs> the whole game. You know what I'm saying? So everyone's got their technique. And of course, like, what I, but I, what I liked when I saw the Lakers play, they made a team that was exactly like LeBron. They were so tall. The new Lakers? Wood, yeah, yeah. Wood Westbrook? Yeah. Wood Mello? They so, yeah. AD? No, 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 no. no. The, not this team. I love it's this team. It's about Magic. The, no, LeBron's team uh, two years ago that okay. he made. Everyone was so tall that they had to throw the ball down to do an alley oop. Mm -hmm. They was all like <laughs> LeBron. I'm not sure how this way is going. <laughs> no, what I'm saying is they built a team that played exactly like him. Mm -hmm. Okay, I get what you're saying. That's something like if you think about. I think of like Biggs, Jay, and Dame. I saw the same person and I saw an ultra boost when Beanie came. Mm. It's like no Beanie like no I'm like I'm like this too. Nigga, that's what it is. Right? So even like now as I do this, I'm up here, I'm going to Elon house, you know, just sleep at his crib for like a week next month. 
Just because we the same. Just because. We play the same, bro. We play the same, bro. So I'm just looking like, who want to play ball like this? I need more rich friends, man. I'm going to be honest, man. I just need Absolutely. way more rich friends, man. Yeah. Yeah. At least got to step it up. <laughs> <laughs> Like, none of y'all niggas over here. What the hell is going on? I'm just playing. Yeah. I'm just trying to make a joke. That's all. Continue, continue. Yeah, man. I'm just going back to that thing I was talking about. I was but, screaming. But where does Eli live? In Mars? No, not inside Eli, of his head. Eli. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that yeah. nigga. Yeah. Um, so you're going to sleep in his crib in Mars? Or Mars. He wants to get to Mars. Well, we, 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 I asked him. I said, you know, I've, I've got the gardens. We started doing vertical gardens at the school like a year and a half ago. And, you know, because I'm a taste guy. I'm like... You going to go to space? I'm with it. You going to go to space? I'm with it. I'm with everything. I will go anywhere. But if, if I'm that dead, then God's not finished. Because yeah. they ain't going to call me, right? But do, <laughs> do they call you? Do they say, yo, you want to... Well, like, Elon would take them. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm, I'm, more, I'm more actually... I thought he went. Oh, that was the virgin nigga that went. Yes. Okay. Oh, Elon never, he never went on? He hasn't went there. Oh. Okay. But I'm more concerned about our space down here on Earth. And actually, our use of space... You know, I, I slept at Axel Vavort's place for three days learning about sacred proportions. So sacred proportions are like a Catholic church has a certain dimension. People talk about the golden section, a cube. You know how you go into a church and it makes you feel a kind of way? All of this kind of information has been taken, you know, from us. And these sacred proportions were used to be like the Gucci belt back in the days. Mm. Even if someone has sacred proportions, they could be killed for it. Now, I know I'm talking about... This is the part where the interview goes like five years from now. You know what I mean? Right. It's like, okay. he's talking about sacred proportion. Now I'm saying, we are the iPhones. We collectively are. God is in us. We collectively can live life at the happiest level. But I am like Temple Grandin, who we spoke about earlier. This person that's on the spectrum, you know what I'm saying? Might not be all the way bipolar, but somewhere on the spectrum, somewhere Rain Man territory. I remember showing my wife Rain Man saying, you thought you married Tom Cruise, but you married Rain Man. Mm. Uh, but someone who calculates this and things that I would do to change environments, our space mm. would help everyone. Mm. Help everyone. You would be calm, relaxed. It's like a spot, a type of information. You know, my mama speaks through my daughter and she said, no cursing on the album. The album came out two days later. The, ed the clean edit, I like the Mike Dean edit of the clean edit. We had this engineer, Urko, did an amazing job, but Mike Dean does this echo. So we're doing the clean again. The album came out two days late because I took the cursing off, right? Because his families, they just don't need all that cursing in their living room mm -hmm. like that. We're not only proving that we could do songs for God and put Jesus' name on high, we also showing we could do albums without cursing that's actually competing. Don't think that we got to say, I'm going to fuck your bitch, I'm going to sell this pussy, I'm going to kill you in order to sell records. Right. Don't let the plan that they told Bone Thugs and Harmony keep our communities out of harmony. Because mm. you made Jesus walk and you're never going to hell. Exactly. Okay. And, and, and I veered from that. You know what I'm saying? God already showed me. And then I got in and I got the jewelry. And then I've always liked, you know, light-skinned girls with a fat ass. And all this and just... And I need more jewelry, and I need the car. Matter of fact, there was this one time I was with the girl from the Uchi Wally video at this diner on 14th Stop. Street. Took it to Queensbridge? Yeah, yeah. Right. So, oh, I didn't know Queensbridge got involved. <laughs> and they, um. Chill out, chill out. Oh! Oh! Okay, you, you, don't, you don't know. Listen, listen. All right. Nah, come on, relax. <laughs> What was that? I'm gonna let you finish first, uh, and then we go on and listen. This yeah. girl was in the Uchi Wally yeah. video, and they slutted her out. Okay, like, sorry. They slutted her out. She wasn't my girl at the time. They slutted her out. Did she live? She didn't get slutted out. I'm sorry. I'm did sorry. she live in an apartment that was so small that her bed was over the kitchen? Oh, shit! Oh. Damn, you're right. So my, my, my legs is hanging over the sink. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay. I can't get no traction up there. <laughs> you got traction? He's <laughs> 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 so mad right now. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> He's never let, let, let downgraded this story. I'm sorry. But this is you. This is you. Come on. Let's be over. Come on. Smash that too. Come on. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay, okay. Get, continue. Ooh, chee wally wally. <laughs> But she also in the big pimping video. Damn, though. Are you trying to do investigation? <laughs> <laughs> That's when we know it's the same girl, because he hates this story. <laughs> All right, so you don't know? All right, no, okay, let's know. just move on. Go ahead, so, yeah. so I go to... Um, I'm driving around, and I got the I got the G5 uh, the G-Wagon. Ram, G-Wagon. Mercedes-Benz. And I go to the diner on 14th Street, and I... Um, and these bloods come in because I'm just sitting there. I'm with this. I think I'm with. Um, uh, this is when Beanie Siegel comes and helps you out. Yes, okay, I'm I with Jay. I'm still so with. Um, okay. I think I'm with Jay Ivy. I might have been like this. Uh, this poet. And uh, the people to be with. When yeah, the come in. It was yeah. so. <laughs> it, you know, what I'm saying this. This story was so crazy. I killed that. That I actually yeah. had to call my girl. Uh, uh. And tell her, <laughs> it's funny because I'm like with another girl. Like, I had to call my girl afterwards, but and she was like, "You was with Floetry? Oh, sorry, Jay Ivy, but this is what my girl used to call <laughs> Jay, okay. Jay Ivy. Okay. The um, so Beanie came in, you know the story, mm-hmm. and boom, that was the rest. I got to go home, smash, flawless victory. We <laughs> <laughs> oh, smashed the other girl. Let's yeah, <laughs> By the way, but she hate but me. you made up the story, no, man. I, I she was my that. ex by that time, bro. We wasn't dating hey, no more. Hey, man, you still get red. <laughs> <laughs> yo, Leezy, easy, yo, yo, yeah. I, I could keep going with you, brother. I, I'm, gonna be, I'm being honest. I just want to thank you. I don't know why, why you hit me. Listen, I have, I have. Uh, Ability sometimes I used to sell drugs, right? Mm-hmm. I'm sorry, I don't know. I know that's not a great. That was a superpower. But when you hit me, I knew this was great positive energy. Like I literally was watching The Sopranos, falling asleep, and my shit just rang. And I said, "That's money right there." And I picked up. Yeah. And it was my billionaire friend. Yay. <laughs> Yeah. But but you didn't have to do this. <laughs> multi. What, 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 multi. Excuse me, excuse me, sorry. sorry, sorry. <laughs> but, just for lack of a you better. You know what I hate okay. about one billionaires? Okay. They could go to Taco Bell and not be a billionaire anymore. Go keep on. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't let you just go away. You're making us thousands of years. Wait a minute. Okay. You know what I hate about one billionaire? <laughs> yeah. I so, just thought there was a funny thing to say when I finally became a more than one billionaire. Right. <laughs> so let me let me ask you, like, how does this happen? Your accountant calls you and say, we hit one billion, nigga? How does this happen? <laughs> I don't know. How does this happen? Like, what? No, it happens. Like, they don't tell you for three years and stuff. You're like, yo, I know I got to be in a billion years. You hear from Forbes? Oh, no, Forbes going to cap all day Forbes long. Cap. So can I read the Rob Report? Or that's out of this? Too? <laughs> they got cars in there. So yeah. Yeah. Rob Report? Okay, yeah. that's something too. Now, Not Forbes cool. is just super cap. And they, and they washed also. Mm. Even worse. <laughs> <laughs> worse than being canceled. <laughs> washed. <laughs> Washed. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> One of the things when I piss, when I pissed on a Grammy, I was very because I kept on picking up Grammys because there was so many of them, and every time I look at it, it'd be someone with someone else. It'd be like, ah, oh, this got Jay Z and Rihanna. Ah, oh, this got Jay. So I actually pissed on a stronger Grammy because I didn't want it to be like a double. Like they think that I'm trying to like. Whose Grammy you pissed on? It was my with my Grammy and my okay. Grammy only. Okay. It was. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Shit! Niggas out here pissing on Grammys here, man. No, then we won the Grammy same year. Holy! It's shit. good luck. To piss on a Grammy, then you win a Grammy the same year. Yeah. <laughs> but, I, but I was saying, I was really, because people be thinking I'm that sensitive when I throw out like the, and it's like, I was really sensitive. I know you might have to edit this because I kept to say the same thing twice, but I just no, wanted no, to be clear. We, we love it. Um, really sensitive about picking out a Grammy that only had my name on it. I didn't mm. want to involve 
like this is my this is my Tiananmen Square. This is my I'm gonna run on the stage. This is my George Bush. Okay. You know why I didn't get canceled then? It's because the people that run the media didn't fuck with George Bush either. They fucked mm. with the Democrats. Right. Mm. Oh. Mm. But I recently read that you <laughs> are one of the two artists that has went 10 million and produced their own record. Yeah, Stronger. Eminem also, yeah. You, it's you and who else? Eminem. Okay. Yeah. So how the fuck is that? You produced your own record and it's 10 million? Yeah, that's lit, right? It's like... <laughs> <laughs> we need a better word than lit at this point. Like, yeah. I don't know what it is, but 10 million. It's like ambidextrous. Ar- artists don't even reach gold. Especially not yeah. nowadays. And especially nowadays with 10 million. How, how does that feel? Like, And you produced it. It, it feels it, it feels like it's another example that I could show y'all that we could build communities. That I could show y'all, like, look, I was able to do this. This man Moses saved Caesar's life mm. at, in war. Mm. You know, now he's saying, like, look, I am y'all. I am y'all. And let's go and let's get free. And it's mm. by just building, simple as that, simple communities. We don't need all of the things that feed our egos. Like, ego... Anger, misery, they love to hang out. They 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 best they blood. Yeah. Especially ego and anger. Yeah. They always be together. Yeah. And the more and more we do so so much of our stuff, our clothes, you know, my clothes is not uh, yeah, some ego, but this more my 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 thing is more about elegance and education. Mm. Let me educate you niggas with this outfit. Mm. <laughs> when I when I put cause that's what it do. Mm. Cause two, three years later, niggas be doing that fit. Or when we did the foam runners. I've been like, yo, we need to not have laces. Cause like what, what Nike would do is, ah, uh, let's get all the influencers to bring Force Ones back and it comes back. The Force Ones come back like Black History Month come back. And for me as a, de- a designer, you know, we don't need the Force Ones come back. No offense to anybody that got Force Ones. I'm just saying, man, fuck them Force Ones and fuck them old ass designs, man. We're gonna be stuck in a loop if we don't design new things and embrace new ideas. But we're programmed to have Chris Brown dissing my haircut. You get what I'm saying? We're programmed to have people dissing something new. Well, how can we ever change something if we don't start on a new one? I said with well, Cube, he said, like, man, what's, what's been happening? Been working. He'll meet with Trump and then they'll cancel him. Man, fuck out of here. Mm. Y'all, y'all need to give me the proper, proper fucking, I want to be hung over a motherfucking doorknob and killed, and y'all say that I fucking went crazy and got doped out, but y'all, y'all ain't going to stop fucking with me and stop fucking with Cube and stop fucking with Deja Pell and anybody that's black in a position of power that got an opinion. Y'all mm. going to stop fucking with us. Come and get me. Mm. My nigga, come and get me. Me. Me, me. I do it. No, nobody else. Me. Come and get me. I like Trump. Yeah, I said it. I'm rocking with Trump. I'm never voting Democrat till y'all actually do something that changes something. Now, when we come together and voters are blocked, like Dr. Claude Anderson said, the Democrats, they're going to be forced to do it. They ain't, they ain't going to just give it to us. China ain't going to just give it to us. They ain't gonna it to it. They'll just show you somebody that look like us and get 94% of the black vote, and we just give it to them. We're just so happy just to see somebody that we think is us. That we think, like, come on, I don't know how daddy or black daddy like that. Y'all ain't do no research on this. You know what I'm saying? It's like, oh, this is good for your daughters. No, it's not. North ain't finna be rolling with that. And, and if they took me out right after this, bet you North run it after this interview. So, man, you know what I'm saying? Y'all was coming at Cube. Y'all meaning the internet. <laughs> like, y'all was coming at Cube for meeting with... So we can't meet. We can't have a conversation. Y'all stupid motherfuckers. What the fuck is wrong with you? This man Cube is educated. This man was an architect. This man done did movies. Boys in the you know what I'm saying? Yeah, Friday. Mm-hmm. And this man not allowed to meet with the president or he not black no more. Well, I'm not black no more either. Like they try to take my black. So George Bush don't care about black Cause, people. Cause you black enough Obama to be black, a bit, black right? forever. A little bit. Like Obama had beef. I don't, I got, I don't have beef with Obama, he just worked for them people. You get what I'm saying? Mm. He just worked for them, man. He just got a job. We all got a job to do. They doing, it wouldn't be challenging in the video game if it wasn't, you know, invisible black people working for the other side, this and that. Mm. Other side meaning not God's side. Mm. 
Jesus, Jesus, Lord, I work but for Jesus. But what are you saying Jesus after that? Christ, Jesus, baby. Uh, like, <laughs> what is the other part? Uh, Jesus, Lord. It's oh, Lord. it's Lord. Okay, all right. That's Swiss saying that. That's Swiss singing. <laughs> yeah, me and my kids be in the crib. We be like, Jesus. They be like, uh, we, don't, we don't be knowing what the fuck we say. <laughs> tell me if you know someone that <laughs> needs. Yo, that Jesus. right there. That's the, um, what do they call the, um, when we call everyone up and give their life to Jesus, what do we call that in church? Um, uh, like when you, when you, when you, the thing? Altar call. Okay. That's the altar call right now. I'm talking about water baptisms. I'm talking about, I'm talking about the shit that the media would try to say is cult-like. Mm. You know what I'm saying? That's for Jesus Christ. Mm. I'm talking about water baptisms. Jesus, what? Lord, tell me if you know someone that needs Jesus. Lord, and then that that verse, you know what I'm saying? That storyline right there. Mm. You know what I mean? Talking about what the brother was going through mm. and what the, going the actual real storylines. How you just really dial into that, man. It's fun though. Y'all yeah. have a good time. I had a great yeah. time, man. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie. I got fifteen thousand more questions. But we're gonna take we a picture. Part two, man. We we're gonna take a part this is part two. This is part now, one. We need to do a yeah. music part two. Yeah. Shit. You know what? I really appreciate you, man. I want you to know that face to face, man to man. Like I said, um, you reached out to me. I was so honored. Mm. I jumped out my my motherfucking couch watching The Sopranos, and I was like, "Holy moly, guacamole! Sure this is it. it!" And I really want to thank you, man, because um, what you mean to hip hop. Mm. And I know a lot of the times we're all competitive, and we're all everyone's making money, and everyone is feeling great, but. You know, sometimes we got to take a time out and say, you know what, I appreciate you as a brother. I appreciate you as a friend. I appreciate you as a person that I look up to because the levels that you went to, we should all be inspired to go there. Mm -hmm. And we are inspired to go Absolutely. there. And thank you for pressing Dream Champs because we got about 17 viral moments. Yeah. <laughs> So we're gonna take a couple of pictures. I'm gonna introduce you to my artist. Okay, no, we can keep going. Yeah, I'm in. No, just yay 2024. Let's go. Oh.